Hi, Johanna here with Kawasaki Robotics and we are live from Fabtech 2018 at the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta. And with me I have Leith, the technical manager at Kawasaki Robotics. Hi Leith, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Good. So we have quite the impressive cell behind us. Can you please tell me a little bit what we're seeing here? Yeah, what we have here is uh, we have an exhibit that's demonstrating a few um, simulated manufacturing processes. Uh, to introduce some of the newer robots to our lineup. Fantastic. So I see a welding robot behind us. Can you please tell me a little bit more about it? This is the BAO6L. It's the, uh, the larger brother of the pre-existing BAO6N arc welding robot. Uh, it is the bigger brother because it's got about an extra 500 millimeters of reach on it. Oh, that is very, very cool. Now I see that there's a laser that's situated right in front of the weld torch. What is that? What Can you tell me about that? So yeah, on the on the weld torch is the servo robot uh, laser seam finder. Uh, what that's doing is that's giving real time feedback to the robot uh, to adjust for weld position. So if there's some part fit up issues, it's feeding back in real time where that weld actually is, so the robot can adjust its welding position. Wow, that's impressive. Now, um, talk about the weld torch. Mm -hmm. What we've got going on there? This is actually this is actually a new torch. This is custom made for the BAO6L. It's a Lincoln. Uh, Pro Magnum 550 torch, specifically designed, it's brand new, specifically designed for the BAO6L. So it's designed just for us, yeah. Kawasaki Robotics. Now, okay. how cool is that? Pretty cool. Um, so I see that there's a fairly large part. It's situated on what looks like to be a part positioner. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell me more about that? So this is actually, this positioner, this 3-axis positioner is actually the top half of an MX700 uh, heavy-duty Kawasaki robot. Uh, a few years back, we were looking at some uh, some potential uh, alternatives to third-party positioners. We realized that the top half of that MX700 gives a good payload and an economical price, and it is designed to be already be integrated with the Kawasaki robot. Very, very cool. Now, how is that part situated actually on the positioner? Mm -hmm. Is that what is that tool? So, on the tool, it's a it's a magnetic tool made by MagSwitch, a pneumatically actuated magnetic tool. Uh, so you don't have to do any hard clamping on your parts. You can just use a magnetic force to hold the parts to the positioner. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me about the programming of this mm -hmm. robot and the MX Positioner. What do we use today? Mm -hmm. What's trending? So trending and right now for arc welding is offline programming. Offline programming has been around for a long time. And for the last couple of years, it's becoming more commonplace in arc welding to do this offline programming. Uh, what we're using is uh, our friends at Senate put together a package for us. So they, they built the environment of all the, the, the robot, the positioner, the, the, the torch, the, the camera, the part, everything, and uh, was able to pick those geometries to easily generate the welding paths for the robot to, to move through. Now, Leith, there's a fairly large robot here in the background. Can you tell me about it? Mm -hmm. that, is, that is the new CX-210L. Uh, the CX series was recently introduced to replace the Z, or the long-lived and long-loved uh, long ZX series for those, those higher uh, duty payloads. Uh, the C, there's some design improvements. So the, the, the CX has uh, some redesigned arm links, so it's lighter, so it can be a little bit faster. Uh, it has some uh, internal cavities for internally routing uh, tubes and cables inside the arm. And it actually has a significantly smaller installation footprint than the ZX series did. Very cool. Now, um, it looks like it's doing two types of application. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about those? Yeah, it is, it is doing two things. Well, one thing it's doing is it's uh, loading and unloading the, the parts to the MX positioner. Uh, so the, the CX also has a mag switch grip around it, so we're using it on both sides, both the posi positioner tooling and the robot tool. Uh, and the other thing it's doing is it's simulating a finishing operation. So it's picking up the, the welded uh, parts and simulating a, a grinding operation to, to grind the weld smooth. All right. Thank you so much, Leith. I think that is a wrap for us. Um, I really appreciate you explaining the cell for us. And please, if you do have time, come stop by our booth 11964 at Fabtech in Atlanta. Thank you.